Today, we'll be spending a day in Miami Beach. It is a short bus or taxi ride from Miami International Airport. This airport is a major hub, with many daily connections to cities across North and Latin America, as well as Europe. During the descent into Miami, you can see a futuristic traffic control tower that may remind you of a transformer. Miami Beach is a city on several man-made and natural barrier islands that are situated across the Biscayne Bay from Miami City proper. Several bridges connect it to Miami. It is a municipality in its own right, even though many visitors think that it is part of Miami. The best time to visit is between November and April, because the weather is dry and not as hot and humid as during the summer months. Many start their day in Miami Beach early. So do the pelicans that hunt in the waters of Biscayne Bay for their breakfast just after sunrise. Stand up paddle boarding, enjoying a barefoot walk or run on the beach, swimming or yoga are a few of the great ways to start the morning in Miami Beach. Miami Beach is well known worldwide for its, you guessed it, beaches. Whether you lounge under an umbrella at one of the boutique hotel beaches around 20th Street, or join the locals for some sunshine and people watching around 3rd Street, there is something for everyone. The Fisher Island is just across the water. It is an exclusive neighborhood only accessible by private boat or a ferry. The ownership changed throughout its history, but until the 1980s, it used to be owned by one family. Now, there are apartment buildings and mansions there owned by America's rich and famous. The total population of this island as of the 2000 census is just under 500 people. It is possible to visit Fisher Island if you have an invitation from a resident or are going to the Fisher Island Club. Many of the hotels and vacation rentals in condominiums are a popular place to stay for snowbirds that escape the cold of the northern USA and Canada during the winter months. Summer is the off-season here because of the heat. Many of the rentals are empty during the summer. Miami is famous for its Art Deco architecture. Many of the Art Deco buildings are located around the South Beach near Ocean Drive. Most of them were erected between mid-1920s and mid-1940s, and the district has the largest collection of Art Deco buildings in the world. The pastel buildings, the palm trees, the neon size, as soon as you enter this area, you will recognize it. Recently, the area became known as the center of the art, hosting the annual show Art Basel Miami Beach. The show features contemporary artwork from several hundred art galleries from several dozen countries. Let us take a stroll along the boardwalk which runs along the beach for 4 miles or 6 kilometers. Many enjoy jogging or rollerblading along it, or you could simply walk to find your favorite beach. Some of the boardwalk is paved, some of it is a raised wooden deck, and all along the boardwalk the views of the beach and turquoise water are breathtaking.
In 2014, the new South Point Park Pier was opened at the southern edge of Miami Beach. It replaced the old structure that has been deemed unsafe for use. By noon, there are many people at the beach swimming, exercising, taking photos. Even though it could get a bit crowded, you can sometimes glimpse manatees just off the shore. Beach volleyball is one of the favorite pastimes and there are nets in South Beach around the Ocean Drive that are free to use. Sailing, surfing, paddle boarding, and stand up paddle boarding are other very popular activities. You can bring your own paddle board or surfboard or rent it. The surf at Miami Beach is not always consistent, but when the weather cooperates, it is great for beginners. Sharks do not usually come close to the shore, but very occasionally dead sharks or other large marine animals can be found on the beach. The shark most likely died after being caught and released or when hit by a motor boat. While it was being removed by the authorities, both locals and tourists watched in awe. This is a very rare sight here. Some areas of Miami Beach are under construction while renovation is in progress. In recent years, due to the influx of tourists, the city took on a number of renovation projects to improve the public spaces. Due to the mild winters in Miami, the buildings do not get damaged by the freezing and thawing cycles, as they do in areas with cold winters. Thanks to this, they last longer, and it is more common to renovate instead of rebuilding, especially in historic districts. Miami Beach is a favorite for photographers and models. You can often see professional and aspiring models there. Miami Beach is a paradise for photographers, especially in the afternoon and at sunset. You can see professional photo shoots and spot aspiring models working on their portfolios. While being topless is illegal on South Beach, it is tolerated, so you will see models in various states of undress. Beach is known as the world famous party destination. 
and there are many celebrations around Christmas time as well as during March break. Photoshoots with children are also common. is a melting pot of cultures. Visitors from all over the world flock to Miami Beach to enjoy the sunshine, the atmosphere, the cuisine. Many Cubans moved to Miami Beach in the past years and Spanish is just as common as English, if not more common. Miami City even has a Cuban district called Little Havana. If you have a chance to watch how the cigars are made in one of the Cuban shops, do enjoy the chef skill of the artisans. Miami is a large international port with traffic of ships that carry containers with imported goods from China. They are then unloaded by these cranes. Several gantry cranes are usually used simultaneously to unload one container ship. Cruise liners leave the port for sunset and night tours just before the sun starts to set. Adjacent to the pier is a wonderful place to enjoy a stroll or a picnic in the cool ocean breeze. Miami Beach is just as lively after sunset as it is by day. It is famous for its fusion Cuban cuisine and all-night dancing. The Art Deco district looks different by night, all alight with neon. No wonder Miami has a reputation of a city that never sleeps. So, we say goodbye to Miami Beach. In three hours we will land in Toronto, where the temperature is minus 15 centigrade or 5 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> 